so I won't be doing that again. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello, how are you? How has your week been? Today is going to be a different, it's not gonna be a different kind of video. It's going to be the exact same as all of my other videos, but I'm reading a different kind of book. I can't remember the last time I finished a nonfiction book. I have started several, finished none. So in this video, we are going to change that because we are gonna be reading memoirs for a week. So the first book I'm going to be reading is The Meaning of Mariah Carey by Mariah Carey and Michaela Angela Davis. So, you know, it's a memoir. It's about Mariah Carey in her life and things she's experienced in her time in the music industry and growing up. It really doesn't need any more explanation than that. The next one that I'm going to be reading is called Mommy Dearest. It's actually a bit of an older one. It was originally published in 1978. It is written by Christina Crawford, who is the adopted daughter of Joan Crawford, who was a very famous actress in like the 1920s, 30s, 40s. As we are getting older, we know that there are some pretty sad stories that have come out of Hollywood um, in the 1900s, you know, like Judy Garland and everything that has happened that we now know happened with Drew Barrymore and just the lengths that Hollywood goes to like cover stuff up like that. So Christina Crawford is the adopted daughter of Joan Crawford and she was abused as a child basically. In the way that it was presented she was seen as like so fortunate because you know she was adopted into this high society family yet it didn't feel that way for her. And then I couldn't do this video without including this book, but the last one I'm going to be reading in this video is Beyond the Wand, The Magic and Mayhem of Growing Up a Wizard by Tom Felton, which I love Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. I read Harry Potter for, I think for the first time when I was in the fifth grade and I've loved it ever since. You know I wanna read Drago Malfoy's memoir. Let us get into this video, starting with the Meaning of Mariah Carey. Okay, so I started The Meaning of Mariah Carey. I made it about 10 pages before I fell asleep. But hey, I am ill. You gotta give me some slack. You gotta give me some slack. Really, I need to cut myself some slack. So this is where things started to go downhill. You can see me here, me and snack, reading The Meaning of Mariah Carey, having a not so grand old time. And then I decided here in this clip that I'm gonna start start reading Mommy Dearest because I decided I cannot read the meaning of Mariah Carey all at once. So yeah, then I did that, but I had lost my voice. So this was me enunciating what I was doing. That way I could use it for future reference. Then at this point, I decided to stop reading both Mommy Dearest and the meaning of Mariah Carey and just start reading Beyond the Wand by Tom Felton because I was extremely bored. Okay, so it's been a couple days, but my voice is finally back and I haven't really been reading. But I'm gonna try to finish Beyond the Wand tomorrow morning. So. It's 11 right now, so I'm going to get working on reading that right now. You know, I don't read memoirs. I don't really read nonfiction books in general. So I was not expecting this one to like actually make me laugh. Okay, I'm like 55% of the way through this book, and I am loving this book. The way that he just talks about his co-workers, his co-stars from the movies is just so sweet. And the way he talks about Emma especially. And I found myself like laughing at the stories that he's writing about in this book. I am thoroughly enjoying this. Okay, 
Okay, this lighting is a little bit whack because it is nighttime. Using a lamp. I finally finished Beyond the Wand by Tom Felton. And guys, I don't know if maybe that's just something like with the beginning of the year, but I was feeling so slumpy, which happened last year too. Although last year it was more of like a book hangover, I think. And then I'm just like choosing to try to power through a book I wasn't really enjoying, but I was so slumpy. And obviously I'm not gonna say I DNF'd them because for me, DNFs seem more like I am, there's not a possibility of me ever picking these books back up and finishing them. So I'm gonna say I chose not to finish. <laughs> but I chose not to finish The Meeting of Mariah Carey or Mommy Dearest. I just, for some, I, like I said, I was feeling so slumpy and I was already feeling sick and I was just, in a very stressful week i was reading these during my sorority recruitment week where like emotions are high and everything is just chaotic and so and i definitely think as somebody who generally does not read nonfiction books i don't it was not a good idea for me to try and read only nonfiction books for a week because even the one that I was enjoying the most, which was also the shortest one, it took me a week to find the will to finish it. So I won't be doing that again. But that being said, I really did enjoy Beyond the Wand. Now, I updated my Goodreads, and if you follow me on Goodreads, you'll see that I didn't rate it. But that's just because from my experience watching Sarah and Destiny and Haley's videos, they don't rate memoirs, which makes a lot of sense to me because it's like, this is this person's life story. Like, I don't think you can really like give like a star rating to it, you know? I have decided not to rate it. I really enjoyed it. It was not what I was expecting. What happened to him and like his life story was not what I was expecting. Really, to be honest, I don't really know much about Tom Felton. I just know he played Draco Malfoy in the Harry Potter series. I don't really know maybe other Harry Potter fans knew about it, but like I had no idea like the things that he went through in his life, like pretty recently. And so I admire that he was so bold and that he just like publicized it you know, because he wants to help other people who may feel the same way that he felt during these times in his life. And so I thought that was very brave of him. And he spoke so candidly about this time in his life and about like the people who were around him, which I thought, which I found really interesting. And I really enjoyed the way that he structured this book because like the first couple of chapters were dedicated to like his life and his acting experience like before Harry Potter and then obviously a large chunk of the book was Harry was about his time during Harry Potter and so some of it was like just like generally like experiences that he'd had during Harry Potter but then he also took like several chapters and like highlighted specific actors that he came in contact with during the filming and like what he learned from them and like specific instances that he remembers like with them which was really cool to read um and then he spent another big chunk of the book like talking about his life post harry potter and how like it did not in any way go in the direction he thought it was going to go and how he like navigated that experience and stuff and so I really enjoyed it. This has definitely, encour definitely encouraged me to read more memoirs. Anyways, guys, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are feeling up to it. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.